Hello everyone, my name is Presley and today we are going to talk about spin painting. So, spin painting or spin art is a process where an item is decorated using paint when spinning an object. So this focuses on the grade 2 curriculum, but it can also be used for any grade really from K to 12, just the younger grades might need some assistance with this project. So for the grade 2 art curriculum, the outcome that it meets is create artwork using a variety of visual art concepts, secondary colors, forms like collages, drawings, paintings, sculptures, mobile, transitional art, and media. So you could use different objects such as paint, you could use objects like found objects that you find around the classroom or outside, you could use paint or crayons, so that is CP 2.8. And then I also found another relevant um, curriculum outcome, that was the science outcome. So, the science outcome that it relates to is physical science, motion, and relative position. This is also grade 2. So, MP 2.1 says, analyze methods of determining the position of objects relative to other objects. And then M 2.2 says, investigate factors including friction which affect the motion of natural and constructed objects, including self. So, um, I picked these two um, different outcomes because there is an aspect of centrifugal force in this lesson just using our salad spinner here. So that's something that you could talk about. You could either use this as an art lesson and incorporate it into science or you could do this solely as a science lesson and incorporate art to explain what you're teaching in science. So I thought that was really cool. It could be considered a STEM lesson which if you don't know what STEM stands for, STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, art, and math. So that's one way that you could incorporate this into the classroom. So the materials that you're going to need is your salad spinner here. We also have these objects. These, um, these are wood. They're from just from the dollar store. And then we also have paint here. I picked red and pink so that I could do a Valentine's themed um, activity. So yeah. That's what we're going to be using, and the kids can be put into small groups. It'll probably be difficult if you have a lot of kids, just because the salad spinner was about $10. So if you have people who are willing to donate them, or you could go to Valley Village and get some, but you might need to split kids up into small groups. So let's get started. Okay, so your first step is you're going to choose an object. So I have a couple of options here. They just came in a package when I got them from the dollar store. I'm going to use a heart because I'm going to use a Valentine's Day theme just because it was just Valentine's Day. So I have my heart here and then what you're going to do is you're going to open up the salad spinner and take the lid off. And then inside we have this insert here and that's where you're going to put your heart down in. So you're going to take your heart here and just put it in the middle. And then you're going to choose your paint colors. So what I'm going to use is pink and red. And so you're going to open up your paint and you're going to put little dots or um, lines, however you want to do it, on top of your heart. So I did a couple dots in pink, and then I'm going to do a couple of little lines with red. And you're going to take your top, put it on top here, and the fun part is you're going to spin it around. So you're going to do it a couple times, you can do it both ways if you want. And then you're going to open it up, see what it looks like. So there we have it there. That one didn't get quite covered, so you can always go back in if you want and put some more paint on top. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a bit more pink and then I'm going to put a bit more red as well going the other way with the blocks this time. And you can put your lid back on. Make sure it's nice and tight so nothing spills. And you can spin. Okay, and then you can take a look. So now it got really covered here. And there you have it. Okay, so I just went ahead and took out my heart. This is what it looks like. Um, I would probably do this step on my own. Otherwise, I would maybe 
help students with taking it out just because it is a little bit tricky and you don't want to wreck it while you're picking it up. You just have to be super careful. So I went ahead and just rinsed out my salad spinner. It's super easy. The paint comes out in two seconds. So you can do that very easily in a sink in your classroom or it down the hall. So I'm going to go ahead and make another one here and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is how this one turned out. I just used a little bit of pink and gold, just mixed it all together, and that's how it's done. So there you have it. That is how you can spin art using a salad spinner and paint and objects. It's really a simple, easy project. You can do it with multiple grades, multiple ages, and it's really fun. The kids enjoy using the salad spinner and getting to spin it and see what what comes out of it. So I think it's a really fun project. You can incorporate it in all different subject areas, which is what we want to do with art. And yeah, I think it's really fun. It's something easy you can do in your classroom. The kids can use any colors that they want. I just chose to use these colors because of Valentine's Day and you can make different things with them as well. You can do lots of extension activities such as making cards, making additional paintings with it. So there's multiple things you can do with this activity. So I think it's a really fun one. So thanks for watching. Bye.